Hi everyone and welcome back to Homehead Chef. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make two different flavors of whipped cream. Homemade whipped cream is super simple. We need three to four ingredients. We're going to start by making a classic vanilla whipped cream and then we're going to make a chocolate. Now let's step up to the cutting board and see what we need. For our vanilla whipped cream, we are going to need one cup of heavy cream, a quarter cup of sugar, and half a teaspoon of vanilla. Now we're going to combine all the ingredients, our heavy cream, our vanilla, and our sugar. And now you can whisk this together by hand with a whisk. It's going to take a little bit of work. You can also use a stand mixer and you're going to start it off slow or you can use a hand mixer as well. You're going to start low until we get stiff peaks. It takes about two to three minutes to get this fully whipped. It's light, it's fluffy, it's good. We do not want to over mix it or it's going to separate and we're going to start making butter. So now let's start working on the chocolate whipped cream. And now we're working on our chocolate whipped cream and for that we also need one cup of heavy cream, a quarter cup of sugar, a quarter teaspoon of vanilla, a pinch of salt, and a quarter cup of a good cocoa powder. And just like our vanilla whipped cream, for the chocolate we're going to go everything into the bowl. And we're going to mix this as well. We're going to start off low so that way we're not splashing anything everywhere or making a mess. We're going to beat it together for two to three minutes until we get stiff peaks. There you have it, our chocolate whipped cream. Now let's get a taste of these. All right, let's get a taste. I'm gonna start with the vanilla whipped cream. Holds on perfect, nice stiff peaks. Mm. It's rich, has a nice velvety smooth texture to it. The vanilla is real nice. It's very prominent, but it's not overpowering. It's a really good, simple, clean, no preservatives or any stabilizers or anything like that inside there. It's a great taste. Let's try the chocolate as well. It holds up. Mmm. That's good. Same thing. It's got a silky texture. The cocoa really comes through. It's lightly sweetened. It's not overpowering. Now, depending on the taste of the chocolate is going to depend on the cocoa powder that you use. Now, this will last a day in your fridge. If it starts to break back down and go down to cream, just give it a whip and it's good to go again. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If so, hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Don't forget to check out my outdoor channel. I'll drop a link in the description. We also just started a Patreon page. If you wish to support the channel, help us keep making awesome videos like this, head on over and support the page. I really thank you guys so much. We'll see you in the next one.